Hello, I'm going to be going over how to configure OpenSSH on Windows for PowerShell remoting over SSH. This video is meant to bridge the gap between my how to set up OpenSSH on Windows and Ethan Bell's how to use PowerShell remoting over SSH. Once you have OpenSSH installed on Windows, there are a few settings that need to be configured in order for PowerShell remoting to work over SSH. I have already installed both PowerShell 6.1 Preview 4 and OpenSSH for Windows on both my client and server machines. So let's go ahead and try to open a PS session to my server, which is called Server 1. I'm going to use Enter PS Session and use the hostname and SSH transport parameters to specify that I want to open this session over SSH. Here we get an error that PowerShell cannot handle. The reason for that is we need ssh.exe to be in the path environment variable. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my OpenSSH path under Program Files. Then, under Advanced System Properties, I'm going to click on Environment Variables. And under Environment Variables, I'm going to select the path and click Edit. Now I'm going to create a new value and paste my OpenSSH folder path and click OK. Now that that is complete, I'm going to open a brand new PowerShell 6 window and try to open my connection again over SSH. Since we added the OpenSSH folder to the path variable, I'm now getting past the error and being prompted for my password. However, when I enter my password, I'm now getting a new error about the subsystem request failing. The reason this is failing now is we need to add an entry to the OpenSSH config file found under the program data folder on the server that specifies the PowerShell 6 executable. And because OpenSSH doesn't like spaces in its file paths, I'm going to first create a new symbolic link on the C drive of the server called PWSH, and I'm going to point that to the folder under program files that contains my PowerShell 6 executable. Now that that is complete, I need to add the following line to my subsystem section in the OpenSSH config file. Now let's go ahead and open that file in Notepad. Now I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom to the section that says override default of no subsystems. Here I'm going to add a new line and paste my new subsystem information for PowerShell. Now I'm going to save and close that file. This is going to require a restart of the SSH service, so I'm going to run that now on the server. Now let's go ahead and try to run Enter PS Session again. Now I got no errors this time, and if I run my PS version table, you can see that I'm running under PowerShell 6.1 Preview 4 on Server 1. Now let's make sure that we're actually opening our PS Session over SSH. When I run new PS session with the host name and SSH transport parameters, you can see that it has created a new session with SSH as the transport. Now let me compare that to running new PS session with the computer name parameter. You can see that running that creates a new session with a transport of WSMAN. And that was how to configure OpenSSH on Windows for PowerShell remoting over SSH.